Marvel is changing and in this video I'll talk about every big change that's coming to Marvel. Yeah, big change. The first thing is that Marvel and Sony are beefing up Spider-Man. Round one, fight. This is because Marvel, which includes Marvel Studios, Kevin Feige and Tom Holland, want a more grounded story after the big multiversal event that was No Way Home. And in this, they probably would want to explore the symbiote storyline and also Kingpin and use Daredevil and Spider-Man team up sort of thing, which would be really interesting and cool and would be a new light to Spider-Man. And they also don't want John Watts back because they want someone else's vision to be put on screen. However, Sony don't want that. Instead, they want a No Way Home type multiversal event, probably to help their crappy universe that's not doing well. And they want John Watts to direct it. Personally, if you ask me, I think the first option is way better just because it would be new and refreshing. And we're supposed to get updates about this really soon. Sony is really rushing this and want this out by 2025. So if it is John Watts, then it is likely that they went for option two. However, John Watts could agree to direct the first option as well. Who knows? The second thing is that Avengers Kang Dynasty no longer exists, or at least it was already confirmed to no longer exist but now we found out the reason why and it wasn't because of Jonathan Majors this trial. Marvel was already shifting directions from Kang before the trial even happened mainly because of Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania failure at the box office but the issue about this is that they've sort of been teasing Kang with Loki and Ant-Man that in order for them to introduce a new villain by the time Avengers Kang Dynasty comes out they would only be in a few movies and it will suck. Unless if they use Kang in a sort of molecule man type way that they used in Secret Wars in the comics in which case it can make sense. However, it's very unlikely Marvel will do that and they just might use Doctor Doom to nuke all the Kangs across all the timelines or something. Agatha Coven of Chaos is reportedly really good. It's so good that Marvel only scheduled one day of reshoots instead of the usual week and this means that it's actually good to Marvel standard but that's not really much of a standard since they did greenlight Secret Invasion. And the final thing is that Blade once again is delayed indefinitely. I mean, a project that was announced like six years ago and has been in the works for the past six years has been delayed again but what can we do subscribe and be sure to check this video out where i explain why deadpool has hair